Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Lao with Kenshan Crafts. Today I am going to be sharing with you my sailor pen haul. It's the biggest sailor pen haul I've ever had. I saved all these pens to share with you guys. And then the second half of the video I will be going over all of my sailor collection. Hopefully you guys enjoy looking at these gorgeous beautiful sailors with me but if you just want to see the collection go ahead and uh, skip over to that time otherwise why not unbox these gorgeous new pens with me so all right i did get all of these pens from my good friend yumiko at good pen life on instagram she is a reseller just like izumi pens and other uh resellers on Instagram, but she sells them for a very good price. Now, all resellers, they mark up your pens so that they can get a profit out of it. And I'm okay with that because I work with her to get these pens at the value that it is in Japan. And then I pay her the fees as well as uh, I tip her sometimes as well. So, you know, I work well with her. She works well with me. She gets what I need. I help her <laughs> as a reseller. So it's a win-win situation. And if you guys have any Japanese pens that you guys want, go check her out because she's lovely to work with. Okay, so let's get started so the first pen that i got from her was this one i should have waited a little, little longer because this one is a little more rare at the time all of these pens are the sailor pro gears from hachimonjia so you guys have seen my favorite hachimonjia collaboration pen which is the kubo zakura and i think this pen is very fitting for april which is the month that Japan celebrates their cherry blossoms. So I think I will reuse this pen again in my April Currently Inked. So this was my favorite one and I got this first. And I bought this from, I think, Melissa on Instagram. And she had bought the broad version of this and she had a medium and I was just like, yes, I want the medium. <laughs> so I did buy it from her for the, the resale, um, for the price that she bought from resellers like JP Select, which was super heavily marked up. These pens go for about 270 in the Japanese market. And then JP Select and other places sell it for like 460. Insane markup, ridiculous, but I really wanted it. And so I got it for four, about 450, 460. Yeah, it's, it's a ridiculous price, but I love it so much and it's okay. This one I got for about 420. Now, the the sale price on this one in JP Select is about 4 450 460 as well. So, I got it for a little bit cheaper through Yumiko and I love it. Okay. So, because it was a used pen, it didn't come with a box, but I don't care. It's not really that I need up the box for my sailors. Oh my goodness. This is called the Amethyst Rhyme on Trees. This is such a beautiful purple. It is the soft lavender. It's so beautiful. And it is a used pen, so I can see kind of the scuff marks from it being used, but that's totally okay with me. This pen is absolutely beautiful, even with those little marks, Like, but it, I can barely see them. If I actually try to focus, then I might see them. But for the most part, this pen is so beautiful. Oh, I have been eyeing this for so long. This is a winter themed pen. The nib here, has three snowflakes and they're all different it's just amazing and these are 21 carat uh, 21 carat gold nibs i got this in a medium nib so it says hm there which is hard medium okay so that's a hard medium which just means that this nib is not really flexible but I have noticed that these 21 karat nibs are quite soft in, in a sense. So now this pen is a soft lavender and the trims here are rose gold. 
It is so beautiful. Now, the, the, the finials on these ones are not different, which I wished w that they would have made them like a periwinkle blue on both ends. It would have been so, so beautiful. Um, but I do love the rose gold on top of the beautiful soft lavender with these gorgeous uh, snow engraved or engraved snowflakes on this nib. It's so beautiful. It, it did come with a converter, and I think all of my the sailor pens that I got from Yumiko have converters. And she also sent me this lovely sample of the Juho. It's called Juho uh, Amethyst, and it's the purple ink to match with this purple pen. And I have already inked it up in there, so I will just show you guys really quickly how that writes. It is actually really such a love soft pastel color. Sailor. New pens. This is the Hachmongia. Juho Amethyst ink. Wow. It is a little bit soft and light. Uh, I would say that this ink is about as light as Sailor Manyo Neko Yanagi, but it has less blue in it. It isn't really a chroma shader. It is mostly purple, but I can see that it has a, the tiniest hint of blue and it leans a bit more pink. So you can see from every side, or every stroke and every angle that this pen writes. So it is uh, a perfectly tuned nib. This is the rhyme on trees amethyst. And this is a medium nib. If you heard that feedback, oh my god, it is so beautiful. This is a really lovely uh, purple ink. So it is made by Sailor for Hachimonjia. I believe it has the same chemical smell that Sailor inks have. Let me see. Yeah, I can smell it off of the nib. So yes, it is absolutely beautiful. And I do almost always pair my Sailor pens with Sailor inks. All right, so that is my first acquisition from Good Pen Life. I bought it from her three separate times because uh, these other two pens, they were restocked. And so she bought it directly from Hachimonjia for a very, you know, the very cheap price that these sailors are actually supposed to be, about $270. And then I just paid her the fees and all that stuff. So it definitely came up to much less than $460. I would not, like... Uh, I will not pay 460 for all four of these pens separately. <laughs> so very, very happy that I was able to catch her. Or like, she told me when these pens were on resale. And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> I love getting my sailors at a good price on a lovely sale. Now, these sailors are from Hachimajiya. They are overseas in Japan. So they don't come with any warranties. You just have to hope that the nibs right well out of the box and most of the time they they do anyway so i don't really have any fear for that but if there are any small issues uh i would say that the best thing for you to do is to work with a nib meister if you don't already know how to like tune your nibs yourself otherwise i'm not quite sure how the return services are when you buy it directly from japan so uh that is something you'll have to talk with good uh yumiko from good pen life and see if you do get a bad nib, what the what the protocol for that would be. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is my one of the pens on my pen wish list, and you guys. Oh my gosh, the, 
the camera picks it up as a really bright turquoise. I love it. In in front of me right here, I see it, it's a very soft blue-green. Yeah, it's like a turquoise that's bright up here and it's greener in the shadows. It's such a chameleon. Now it does come with silver trims. So if you're a silver trim person, this is a really gorgeous pen. I would have preferred this as a gold trim, but it's definitely perfectly okay the way it is. The uh, silver trimmed nib here is, it has a jellyfish engraved on it. Do you see that? It is so, so lovely. There we go. So, so nice. And then I got this one in a medium fine. So I typically pair my blue inks or my blue pens with teals, turquoise, uh, dark, like blue blacks. And so this, I thought that a medium fine would work much better. If I had a medium, it would be way too broad and thick. So I don't know. We'll see. I decided that I like mediums and medium fines for sailors. I do not like the broad sailors, and then I haven't ventured to a fine yet. I know that a fine will probably write really well if I had a really wet ink, so I will have to test a fine at the pen show to see if I like it. In natural lighting, this definitely, this pen is a beautiful chameleon. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I don't have this inked up with anything, and it didn't come with, or I did not buy the jellyfish ink uh, that comes, that matches this pen. I probably should have, but it is almost like a sky blue color. So it's, and it's also pretty light like this one, but I, I can read this very, very legibly. So this is a gorgeous ink. I think that this blue one would have been very legible as well. There we go. Oh my gosh, them together are so nice. Oh, wait, let's see. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Two lovely collaborations from uh, Hachimon Jia. Now let's put this next with the pink. It reminds me of the three Hello Kitty Kaveco all sport pens, but this is like the high end version of that. Um, now, speaking of high end, the resin on these Sailor Pro Gears are very, very high quality. Like they feel delicate, but also just substantial, very, very substantial. This one feels so heavy, uh, for a Sailor Pro Gear that is made out of, you know, plastic, but it, it just feels so good. And yeah, this one feels the same. This one feels the same, so you never will ever get a Sailor Pro Gear that just feels like plastic. These do not feel like plastic. Um, the material that Sailor Pro Gears are made out of, they call the PMMA resin. So it is very, very sturdy resin, or sturdy plastic. All right, we'll just put those down there while we open up this last one. Let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. <laughs> Obviously, I love all four of them. You will see this next one is a very, very different style. And it's probably not something I usually go for, but I really love it when I first saw it. Like, it blew my mind away how beautiful it was. And it's typically the pens that you don't have a lot of high expectations or like you don't like it at first sight, but you think that you might like it. And it just turns up to be so amazing. Oh. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh. This is a soft, uh, muted, like dusty blue with gray. The, the finials here are translucent or clear. They're basically clear, but just they have a color to them. It is a softer, how do I, I think it's like the same shade, but just darker and Oh my god. This pen is something else. I really, like, each one of these pens gives me a different feeling. Like, for this one, I feel like I'm in the ocean, obviously, because it's jellyfish. And it just gives me such breezy, 
happy vibes. This purple one makes me think of purple flowers in the winter because of the snowflakes. It's just a really, really nice feeling. Like you don't see a lot of flowers in the winter. And for this one, it's like life in the winter. I love it. And the pink one definitely reminds me of Sakura cherry blossoms and it, it's all about spring and rebirth, new life, uh, just happiness. It makes me also think of like ceremonies in Japan. Love this so much. And then this one, this gray one is also a winter themed pen. So Hachimonji has not come up with a summer or an autumn theme yet. I hope they do one of these days, hopefully like an orange or red pen, like a softer color of those. But uh, for this one, it is a winter themed pen because it is called Ginza Snow Gray. And I love that it's a, a blue shade of gray. I love blue grays and blue green inks. So this is gorgeous. And this nib, this nib, oh my gosh, just look at that. It is an oil lamp. You know, one of those like retro uh, oil lamps and that you can see, uh, I think Ginza, um, the street on Ginza also has these beautiful oil lamps as well. But it, it makes me think of those really old time movies where <laughs> those lamps in the streets, but it also is reminiscent of Ginza, so... I am just just so, so happy with this one because the nib design here is probably one of the most unique ones. And it just looks so symmetrical, so good. Yeah, this one also came with a converter, of course, I just don't have it in here yet. And I have yet to pick a blue-green, a blue-gray ink to pair in here because this for sure is going to be in my... Uh, April currently inked. Look at those pastel colors all lined up next to each other. It is such a beautiful sight. So now I have all four of these. I'm very happy with them. <laughs> so, so happy. And it look, for me, Sailors and Leonardo's are my color pens. And they bring me so much joy. And of course, like I look for quality builds in pens. The Pro Gears give me that. The Sailor Pro Gear Slims are a little less quality, I would say. And that makes sense because it is a smaller pen. And so Sailor Pro Gears, they fit perfectly in my hand. They are, they feel like quality and they write with quality. So, so, so happy with this. And let's just right with my Sailor Pro Gear Kubo Zakura here to see the pink next to the blue. This is Kobe. Sunset of that day. So I got my pink and purple sailors in medium nibs. And that writes really lovely because most purple and pink dusty inks are very dry or they lean a bit on the dry side. And I know for sure that these two do lean a little bit on the dry side, but they are still very well flowing and work well out of sailor pens. And I got these two in medium fines because most blues and greens are a little wetter and it's just the dusty greens and blues that might be a little bit drier, but I have not really experienced like super dry from the specific grays that I have tried. So I can't wait to try these out with some inks. All right, so let's quickly look at all the goodies that Yumiko got me. So I did, again, like I said, I made three purchases over the last three months. So okay, let's, let's open these up and see what's inside. So I think these are just fountain pen friendly paper that <laughs> just has some really light drawing of manga in the background and you could just use them for little notes. Really nifty. 
Oh, more cute little Japanese themed stickers. This is just <laughs> sushi. <laughs> oh my goodness, so cute. Like these can be used to just uh, put down like on your to-do lists. I love it. And then some more of these. Oh man. Oh, look at these cute little flower designs. That is so nice. Yep, and then the same one here. Yeah, love it. Thank you, Yumiko, for all these cute little pens. Oh, and then she also made a paper crane. I think she sends paper cranes with every single order, which is amazing. I'm like, did she make this for every single pen? Or <laughs> does someone make it for her? But, like, she, I think she works alone, so this has to be just all her. And this message says, may be peaceful. So, so sweet. Dear Lao Yang, thank you for your always kind comments. Also, if you have any fountain pens you would like, please feel free to contact me. No plans to resell the jellyfish, so I'm glad you were able to get your hands on one. Okay, so it looks like there's no more. <laughs> I That probably was one of the last few jellyfishes that were restocked. I, I don't think Hachimanjiya restocks a lot when they do. So she got this for me. I'm so happy. Like, it's... I guess, like, sometimes it's still pretty rare, but I saw that she has been posting, like, s seven of these Hachimanjiya pens in the past week or so, and I'm just like, you guys, it's not that rare anymore if you work with these resellers. <laughs> okay, and, but sometimes it still can be. Like, there's a lot of us that want this specific pen. Oh, okay, I spelled Juho wrong, but it's it's Juyo, J-U-H-Y-O, is a natural creation created when seasonal winds from Siberia hit the trees of the Zhao mountain range, covering them with ice and snow. So basically this is describing this purple pen and why they named it Rhyme on Trees Amethyst. So Rhyme on Trees, just like that glistening bits of ice that form on trees or the branches of trees. And yeah, it's it's just a beautiful scenery. Uh, illuminated by the morning sky, the snowflakes shine like crystals, dyeing the silver world of the frost-covered fields purple. Oh. I used a fountain pen to express this scene, which can only be seen a few days a year. Imagine the breathtaking sunrise over the frost-covered fields. Yes. That is gorgeous scenery, imagery, and very fitting of this pen like it's i think seeing a purple in a sunrise on the you know snow covered floors is really rare of a color um or like it's a really beautiful imagery uh you don't really think of purple as a winter color so this is quite unique to me i think wow thank you yumiko for this really fun tidbit of information and then oh my gosh these stickers are so beautiful Look at that. They're like to match the pen perfectly. All these purple, shades of purples. Okay. And then look at these cute little stickers. When you shop with her, you get these lovely personalized little gifts. And you are also supporting her and spending a lot less on a pen that most resellers are going to charge you. But just remember that because she is a retailer, these prices aren't like super, super cheap. You still have to pay a, a you know a fee for the service that she provides. Oh, oh my god, yes, look at these little onigiri and uh, what is this? Uh, sushi and a donburi, uh, like a sushi bowl. <laughs> Mount Fuji. Oh my god, these are so darn cute. Holy moly. Oh, okay, yeah, this is probably my favorite <laughs> bit. So this came with the um, Ginza Snow Gray. I love it. If you work with her and get a pen from her, tell her that I sent you her way. Now let's get to the the second interesting part of this video. Oh my goodness, look at these sailors. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you might say you're a, quite crazy for collecting this many sailors. 
yes, I am. <laughs> but at the same time, my goodness. Woo. Okay, now, I know that my tastes will change over time, and sometimes I might sell one of my sailor pens. And if you have been eyeing one of my sailor pens, then you might be happy that I will be selling one of my pens in the future. But for now, none of them are, well, none of my pro gears are going to be sold. I am sorry to say that. Let me just put this here so you can see more of that beautiful sailor pens right here. Okay. Um, so let's just start from left to right. Uh, or, or we're going to start with the slims because I don't really care too much for slims and I might sell some of my slims. There's one more right here. <laughs> I thought I showed everything, but no, here's my last sailor. Okay, so we'll start with this one. This is the most recent sale that I got. This is the first snow and this is the collaboration between Plus and Sailor. So this is Progress Slim First Snow. It's got the snow finial there, super cute, and a dark blue finial and uh, on both ends, as well as geometric maquillage-like designs. They're just laser printed on here, uh, or like printed, and it's not real maquillage. And then the grip section is also the same as the finials, and the nib is a tiny, tiny 14 karat gold uh, sailor nib, and it's got the snowflake designs there. Super, super cute. So <sighs> Sailor Pro Gear Slims are really, really tiny. Like the pen itself and the nibs are tiny. So I, I did tell myself not to buy any more, but then I bought this one. So I feel that if I'm not going to be using this one much, I may sell this one. So if any of you guys are interested, do watch out for when I put this on sale. It, it, if I fall out of love with this one real quickly, I might sell it um, because like I knew that I didn't want slims anymore, but then a part of me was impulsive and bought this. And then later on, I am slowly, you know, just finding out that it's not really a pen I pick up much, but it's dead, <laughs> drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> okay. And then here is my Sailor Proger Slim, the... Moroccan mint tea from the Tea Time Around the World. This is, I think, the one that really matches the theme of Moroccan mint tea the best. And when posted, this pen is absolutely perfect. It is such a unique colorway and, well, not entirely unique, but it is a very, very good colorway. So this pen has champagne gold and it is just such a lovely colorway. Now, again, because it is a slim and it's a 14 karat gold nib, actually this is a medium nib and it writes really nicely. So I just need to write with this before I decide if I want to sell it. And the biggest reason for selling this is because it, as it's a slim and I don't pick up my slims up as much. Okay, and then we'll go to this one. This is my very first sailor that um, got me to exploring sailor some more. It's not the one that made me love Sailor because this was, as the very first one, it was a very, very new experience. And it wrote really scratchy. I put Riddank in here, which is the very, very lovely but dry, dusty, pinkish coral ink and that everybody loves using. <laughs> but it was super dry coming out of this pen and I did not like it. And then I also was really put off by the initial feedback that a dry ink in here um, created for me. But this pen is gorgeous. I prefer this look to this one, mainly because I don't really like transparent, like completely transparent bodies. I got this only because I told myself, why are you just getting the Kisan one when you should get the T one too? Like it's a T themed set. So that was my reasoning for getting this. And it's not a good enough reason because this pen didn't really um, catch my eye at first and I shouldn't be doing that. So like I shouldn't collect a pen just because it is part of the set. Uh, I have to actually like it, the colorway and stuff like that. This one, uh, as simple as it 
is, and it was so cheap. It's seventy eight dollars that I got, and <laughs> my friend showed this to me, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, look at this pen! It's seventy eight dollars." And I was like, "Oh wow, that is a Sailor Shikior pen. Aren't those supposed to be like two hundred dollars?" <laughs> but it's the gray market, and it's shipped directly from Japan. So I think seventy eight to eight ninety dollars is about the cost of these in Japan, which is very very good for a gold nib. I will never sell this pen mainly because it is a gorgeous ivory body and the finials are blacks so like it's contrasting. It's it's a lovely pen. This is the uh, Autumn Moon or Harvest Moon Meigetsu and I love this one so much. And then here are my four Sailor Pro Gear Slims from the Sound of Rain series. And these ones were my goal for last year to collect all four of these. And I have completed that goal. <laughs> and I love every single one of them. And I I think the one I had the least fun writing with was probably Summer Rain. Even though Summer Rain has these gorgeous, lovely colors. I love the green finial. It is so nice. Yeah, the green finial on the sailor is just so absolutely beautiful to look at and uh spring rain is definitely still my favorite and i think it's a lot of people's favorites but if you love the more soft purple colors then i think these two would be more up your alley i definitely had a lot of fun writing with these two uh the winter rain one was my favorite because of the ink pairing i added uh put in it and then this is the autumn rain which is just such a lovely more moody toned color so it's it's definitely a darker pale uh purple or like muted purple and i think the finial choice on here is so <laughs> just so lovely it is such a rare color to be putting on here it's like it's not peach but like apricot, like, I don't know, a really light fruity color and I love it. So yeah, these two just are so nice together. And then these two obviously are nice together, but all four together creates a different kind of vibe as well. So I will not sell these ones because they were my goals uh, to obtain all four. I love rain, um, rain showers, the sound of rain, uh, like the pitter patter all and, and these pens come with their specific inks and the inks are named after this like different sounds of rain in japan so like this one uh comes with shito shito which is spring rain which is like light soft rain and uh, the summer rain comes with za za which is torrential rain or really really heavy sounding rain which in the summer you get tons of rain so that's really fitting autumn rain is hara hara which is like um it's it's like a a softer rain um that falls on autumn leaves um the leaves that have fallen to the ground it's just that sound when the rain hits those leaves it's so nice and i think hara hara is probably my uh, one of the, the, the most popular ink color in this line of uh, inks. And then this one had a really weird color. It's a little bit bluish, more blue than it is purple. And I think it's probably a really nice complementary color to this, but I don't like that color. It is called Potsu Potsu, which is the sound of chilling rain or rain in the winter that is really... Uh, like solid and you can just hear how cracking it sounds <laughs> I suppose <laughs> but yeah so chilling rain is potsu potsu that's my sound of rain series pro gear slims I love them so much um, as I said in my collection video that if this one if the uh, if these pens came as a pro gear set I will swap them all for those pro gears right away <laughs> <laughs> but they do come with 21 karat gold nibs in the tiny Progear Slim size. They do write much smoother than the 14 karat gold nibs. So I 
I definitely enjoy that. So I think that's another reason why I don't want to collect any more 14 karat Progress Slims because I don't enjoy those nibs, uh, especially the medium fines. They're just so, so thin. Like it's not the best writing experience when you have experienced 21 karat gold nibs. All right, let me do these two together. So these two are the Yoseka collaborations with Sailor. And this one I got for 300 and it's a 490 retail value. And you will never get it for any cheaper than that from Yoseka because they never get sales. <laughs> but that's okay because we can buy these on the second market or from somebody else. So I got this for 300 and I was just like, is that a pro gear? That's not a slim, right? And uh, the seller said, no, it's a pro gear. And I said, okay, I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> this was the the one I really wanted the most when Yosika first came out with Refresh like two years ago and then it uh, sold out and so it was super rare and then they came back with restock of all three of their pens when Home came out so it was not as rare anymore but I still wanted it but not at the 490 price and so I got it for that lovely price and when I got it in person I was like Oh my gosh, this is actually so pretty. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. The finials um, are much brighter than the soft grayish green blue of this body. This this color, the body of this color is really hard to um, describe. So it is, it's super lovely. And then Home is probably my favorite of the three. It just looks amazing. I like I have said I said that I don't like clear parts on Sailor, but I think it's the clear bodies that I don't I don't like. This clear cap actually looks really good with this pen. So it isn't a design that I don't like. I actually think it looks really smart together, <laughs> really creative. Uh so like these two pens just look at how they look next to each other. It's such a gorgeous pair and I don't like the green one <laughs> I don't know I don't like the origin pen I because it's like I said it's it's all translucent I well transparent but it's green and it's got the cheap sparkles on it <laughs> if it was anything else if it was just like a milky it could be the same color if it was just a milky green with more of the this kind of shimmer like this is a really subtle shimmer in this pen uh, i would have preferred that i think it looks more elegant and more expensive looking so origin is probably a pen that i will not get uh, i will only get it if it's on sale for super super cheap but if i don't have it in my collection i'm totally fine with that and i'm also realizing now that there are more than just two different cap bands. The cap bands on these two are different. What? Most sailors come with this cap band, which is one larger center and then a, a tiny one on the top. Um, so like this one, you see, it's the same. They have the same cap band. But why does the home one look like that? That's different. It's basically the whole band is gold. It, there's nothing to separate. It's just one large band. Huh. The more you know, when, or the more you find out when you look carefully. Okay, so those two are the lovely Yoseka pens, Refresh and Home. This one was my grail pen for the longest time by Sailor because it's got that cute little turtle rod in there. Come on, come on. Okay, so that is the turtle rodden. It's so hard to show this turtle rodden on camera, but in person, it is literally the cutest, the most prettiest thing ever. It is a little tiny though, so it's just a small detail. And this pen retailed for like $700 on eBay when it was not in production anymore. And then uh, Bunga Box brought it back to the San Francisco Pen Show last August. And 
it went on sale for 400 and I said, this I was my grail for the longest time. I should get it. A part of me didn't want to get it at first because I still at the time did not really like uh, clear bodies with this kind of sparkle. Like, again, like I said, I, I feel like this kind of sparkle is a little cheap, but the color combination looks good because it's this blue translucent uh, transparent cap with a green body. I think it looks really handsome together. And the white finials are really, really good. So this, this pen is a lot less feminine than the rest of my pens that I have down here. And I do like that about this pen. And it comes with the Bunga Boxes ink bottle design there uh, uh, engraved on the nib. And I had this initially as a broad nib. And then I had Gina Salarino ground it to a uh, journaler nib. <laughs> and I love it so much. It's so fun to write with. The, the softness of this nib lends really well to that journaler nib. So I like it. And it has champagne gold hardware as well. So this pen may not look as aesthetically pleasing in pictures, like Instagram photos. Like nobody cares for this pen compared to all these other pastel lovely colors. But I, I am so happy to have this in my collection because it is that much more unique in a pool of pastel colors. <laughs> Okay, and then the last one here, because I've already showed you guys these gorgeous new pens, and I love these so much, but this one is my Ruby Love in my Sailor Pro Gears. This is the one from the Tea Time Around the World that caught my eyes, and this is the one that I wanted. I should have just bought this one alone. I absolutely love this one. The I think that the Ruby Red Transparent cap here is so elegant and such a rich, lovely color, and it is accented with the champagne gold metal parts here. It just looks so, so divine. And then the cap has a clear finial with a uh, olive green for the Sailor Anchor logo. So that makes this whole combination so lovely. Like, it, it, they didn't have to add a green accent to this pen, but they did. And I think that that alone should have made me be happy with just getting this pen and not also getting this one because I was like, I want a tea colored pen along with this set because this one was all red, but then I forgot that there was a green part up here. So like that finishes the whole tea theme with this little green part. So this pen is just so good. Now, I wish that I had gotten this probably in a medium fine because this medium is very juicy and red red inks are pretty wet, uh, at least the ones that I have used. But then because it's a medium nib, it will show the sheen pretty well if you love sheen. But I don't really care for sheen, so I do. I did wish that I could get this in a medium fine. Maybe I can grind this nib to make it even more special because I love this pen so much. Okay, so that is all my sailors, you guys. I love every single one of them. And yeah, so let me know down in the comments which one of these Sailor Pro Gears or Pro Gear Slims you have, if you enjoy writing with them, which one's your favorite, uh, which one of these ones are probably on your wish list. Just so many questions I want you guys to write, <laughs> answer down below. Just talk about sailors with me and I will respond to each and every one of them with my sailor enthusiasm. So yes, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me in looking at my sailor collection. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.